Alright guys, we are back with another video here and today I have the Galaxy S5 and to today I received another stability update as you can see here, software update it's 341 MB so this is, is as they say here improved performance but I hope they're gonna fix out the issues that I'm having this phone which is the lag in the multitasking UI sometimes there's lag there and yeah I think basically that's all and let's see what this, up this update does to this phone any major improvements we'll find out next they backed up everything so let's go ahead and install this uh, new stability update this is the second from uh, stability update by the way so I'm gonna restart here so it will take around maybe 10 to 15 minutes depending on how much apps you have so yeah I'm gonna skip uh, through here until it's done uh, updating then I will resume the video so I'll be right back once it's done see you guys later Alright guys, I'm back and I've already finished updating it. It took around 2 15 minutes to update to the next version. So let's go ahead and go to settings and show you the new build version that is running on now. So it's using the same, there we go, it's updated, you can see. Using the same baseband version but now we have a new build number here, you can see. XU1BOC2 So this is the new version you can see Oh here, here we go, here is the build number Still an Android 5.1 by 5.0 by the way, no changes in the Android version So actually I don't know what has changed um, So this performance boost as they said um, You don't get any new apps I think Nope, no new apps just actually performance enhancements nope we don't get any new new applications or um, settings that I can see from here looks like nothing has changed actually just a stability update so still to test the performance of the device um, let's see let's open um, Chrome let's open up the settings and let's open up phone and also let's open up files there's a few apps memo Um, maybe Google. Right, we'll open up some apps already, and let's open the calculator. Alright, now let's take a look at this. It's quite fast. Let's see, we close all the apps. Hmm, pretty fast. Looks like I think they fixed some of the issues they're having previously. Let's go look at the gallery. It's pretty quick to launch. Yeah, everything is pretty smooth in my opinion. I don't see any freaking major lag like last time. I always have a um, very bad lag, especially in this UI. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Chrome loads quick, pretty quick. Yeah, so pretty good update in my opinion. I was there to test the battery life whether it's good or not. So pretty good update actually. Fix some issues for me actually. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this uh, stability update for the S5. Um, any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, uh, actually I found out something that was changed actually. So I took some time to uh, investigate. As you can see previously over here, it was interruptions in the previous build. 
and now we have back we have got back the do not disturb button which is actually blocking mode so yeah this is uh, the what um, this is replaced again is re is replacing interruption so it's like the usual blocking mode that you see on a uh, typical de Samsung devices so yeah so now um, there's no more interruptions and it's changed to do not disturb so that's the only changes that I found other than that that's it I don't see any uh, changes basically it's just uh, performance improvements and yeah and in my opinion the multitasking UI is much faster than before yeah so thank that's all guys thank you much for watching and I'll see you in the next video